Welcome back to Pearl Mister Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Pearl Meter Remote Control Screen, which is compatible with Pearl M series controllers. In both single controller photovoltaic system and multiple controller power operation systems. First, complete the installation and wiring of the controller. Connect the battery, photovoltaic input, and a simulated DC load to the controller. Then close the battery circuit to start the controller. You can use the set button to turn the load on or off, and close the photovoltaic circuit to allow the controller to charge the battery. This is a standard single controller operation system. Next, we will add Pearl Meter Remote Control Screen to this single system. Start by mounting the back plate on a wall using three screws. Pay attention to the orientation. The three screws are located at the top and the two lower corners of the back plate, with the three protruding tabs facing upwards. Then attach the remote control screen to the back plate. The building magnets on the back of the screen will securely hold it in place, and the three metal tabs will insert into the corresponding holes on the back of the screen, preventing any movement. If you plan to place the remote control screen on a metal surface, you can skip the back plate installation and simply attach it magnetically. However, for more unstable environments like RVs or boats, We recommend it using the back plate for added stability. Connect the remote control screen's plug to the COM port at the bottom of the controller. The screen will automatically start. Use the up and down buttons to scroll through the two pages of real-time data. Press the enter button to enter the settings menu where you can configure both controller and screens itself. The first item in the settings menu is the battery type selection. Use the up and down buttons to switch between the battery types, then press Enter to confirm. Use the left button to switch to the system voltage setting and adjust the voltage using the up and down buttons, pressing Enter to confirm. Note that system voltage can only be changed when the battery type is set to USE. For other battery types, the system will automatically detect the voltage. The second item in the settings menu is for charging parameters. After entering the settings, use the up and down buttons to adjust the values, and the left and right buttons to move the cursor. Press Enter to save the settings once all parameters are configured. The third item in the settings menu is for resetting the controller. The fourth item is for setting the load mode, which only appears when the remote control screen is connected to a model that supports DC output. You can first switch modes using the up and down buttons to adjust the corresponding running time. Press the left button to move the cursor to 24 edge, and then use the up and down buttons to modify the value. The fifth item in the settings menu is for viewing system operation data charts, including daily, monthly, and historical data for the past 12 months. You can also clear the charging data, which is useful when moving the remote control screen to another device to avoid data interference. The sixth item in the settings menu is for configuring the remote control screen. Including setting the data and time, adjusting the data recording interval, and setting the screen brightness. The seventh item in the settings menu is for setting the power communication code, which only appears when the remote control screen is connected to a model that supports power operation. In the multiple controller power system, this setting allows you to modify the communication code for the controller connected to the screen. In the multi controller power system, the remote control screen can control all slave controllers by connecting to the master controller. Let's simulate a two controller power system. Both controllers are connected to the same battery, but different photovoltaic arrays and loads. Close the battery circuit to start both controllers. 
Before the battery enters charging mode, set the power low communication codes of the two controllers to one and two. With the lower number defining the master controller, then close the two photovoltaic input circuits, and both controllers will charge the battery normally. Connect the remote control screen to the master controller. Now you can use the remote control screen to set the battery type and the charging voltage. After completing the settings, check the displays of both the master and slave controllers to confirm that system has synchronized the settings. Congratulations! You can now enjoy the convenience brought by the pole meter remote control screen.